Good morning, everyone. It's Nuno here. And today we'll be talking about the Rust programming language. You probably have heard stories about Rust. And just like everyone else, you're probably wondering why it's becoming so popular. Well, Rust is a systems programming language and it belongs to the same group as C or C++. Rust also tackles the same problems as C or C++, meaning that it's, it's used to create operating system tools and extensions, drivers, and all the things that need bare metal performance. Now, what's the difference between Rust and C or C++? Well, the difference is pretty much the compiler. Rust is compiler ensures memory safety. Meaning that no matter what the person knows about Rust, Rust its compiler will always ensure the program is safe. Meaning that even as a beginner, you can't build a Rust program that it's not safe. And that is pretty much an awesome thing because you can ensure the entire team will not build something that is not safe as the compiler will ensure and monitor that. Now, a question people also have is why I'm learning Rust. Uh, well, and to clarify that, sometimes you see me learning other languages, and I've done that multiple times in the past. And that's not because I want to learn or to change language. It's because Sometimes moving to other languages allow me to bring cool ideas to PHP and Laravel. Uh, one perfect example of this is when I have worked with JavaScript, I was writing tests using Jest, and a couple of months later, that allowed me to build past for PHP, which is something very similar to Jest. Another example is Laravel Pint, which is pretty much something like Go format that allows you to format your code without any configuration whatsoever. So, if you see me doing a lot of Rust or creating content around Rust, that's not because I want to change language, but because I'm having fun with Rust at this moment and I'm trying to find cool ideas for Laravel and PHP. Even yesterday, I was able to build a PHP extension that allows you to profile PHP applications. Of course, is a POC, but you can see that by learning a new, a new language, I was able to find a new use case or a new idea that I could potentially bring to PHP. Now, next year, I'm going to do a talk about Rust. 
And that talk is about showing Rust from a PHP developer perspective. On that talk, I'm going to do a live coding session. And my idea is demystify everything about Rust. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time.